Uh, the next one is uh, the question of, of um, this question is actually the character of God. Mm -hmm. right? And this next one, uh, in uh, number 239, is God merciful? Right, that's the question. Yes, according to various passages, um, but no, according to various passages. Right, yeah. so that's the question here. Of course, Jason Lyle is having none of this as a <laughs> as a um, as a as a contradiction. He says this is uh, specious reasoning. God is merciful and full of, full of compassion, and no verse says that he isn't. Mm -hmm. Right, but God is also just. Right. And so he will punish the wicked, right? So this God is both merciful and just, right? He's both um, merciful, but he also is a holy and righteous um, God who must punish the wicked, mm -hmm. right? Which looks like uh, not having mercy uh, to an unbeliever. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Uh, God shouldn't hold me accountable for my actions because I didn't even know he existed. Right. And when I stand before him, I'm going to say, uh, not enough evidence. That's right. Bertram Russell, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> and co-opted by others who have yeah. stolen, stolen a, a, the, the quote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, of course, God will say, oh, sure it was. You, you know, first um, Romans chapter 1 says that the whole world is full of evidence, yeah. right? You just look around the creation, and all creation mm -hmm. is screaming that, you know, God is here, and you need to pay attention, right? Uh, when it talks about the, the image of God, uh, we're, we are the, the emissaries of, of God here on earth. And so when we look at other people, when we look into a mirror, uh, we are proclaiming, like, an image bearer, kind of, uh, you can th kind of think of it like a, a person who goes out to um, to, to uh, different sectors of a city or, or uh, the the nation and and say, here's the edict of the king. Uh, our our very embodiment of, of being who we are um, proclaims who God is. And yeah, so yeah. Um, e even even our own uh, looking into a mirror uh, uh, shows us. Uh, God. Yeah. And uh, this is the marvel, the majesty, you know, of, of the gospel, mm -hmm. right? The gospel says that God um, um, is a holy and righteous, just judge, and he must punish sin, right? And so, and it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So, so we stop. Are, we're all done. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no it, just. right? And yeah. but notice what what would we call a a judge who refuses to punish sin? I don't think we would. So you know, here here's Hitler. He's on trial. Let's assume right, and he's done all these horrific and and wicked things. And the judge says, "Oh, you know, boys will be boys. I guess it's okay." <laughs> you know, we wouldn't call that a a a. a, a a holy and righteous judge, mm -hmm. right? We'd call that something. We'd call somebody like that wicked, probably at least unjust, right? Not a, not a good judge. So then the question then is, how can God be a just, holy, righteous judge who meters out, you know, a just penalty for sin, and also be merciful, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a, a merciful judge who allows people to quote get away with it. Is not a is not a right judge, right? They are they're not doing their job, right. and so the gospel says that God can has done both in Jesus Christ. And it's right? a good thing that He changes those of us who um, have come to repentance, because then we're not just going back out and saying, "Oh, okay, well, I'm good now, and I can yeah. go go and sin." We're we're fundamentally changed. Our 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 we're we're made. The dry bones are made alive. Uh, the stone heart is turned into a fleshly heart so that it can be uh, pierced and pricked and, and um, molded uh, where, where the, the uh, clay jar that, uh, that the, the uh, creator can, can mold to whatever he wishes. And, yeah. And um, where we recognize this as, as believers. So. Yeah. So, so God then uh, uh, is merciful in that he pays the penalty for our sin. And he's just in that then the sin is punished. It's punished in, in himself, in mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus Christ. So he is both merciful and just. He's merciful because he, he forgives the sin, right, that we have done. But he's just because he's able to forgive it because it has been paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ. 
who is God the Son and therefore infinite and so his death can cover a infinite amount of sin right. right and so we're all covered as we trust and believe in the in the work uh, of Jesus Christ that what he accomplished on the cross God can be both merciful and just and there's no contradiction right he's a good judge he judges sin and outside of Christ you will be judged in Christ you are judged in Christ found guilty but then he forgives you because Jesus Christ pays for the sin, and so he is merciful. So mm -hmm. he's both merciful and just, and that is the amazing wonder of the gospel and what he accomplished right. on the cross. Right? On the, the, the hard part of Romans uh, 7, 8, 9, it's, it talks about God talking to Moses saying, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have, um, let, me, let me read it here because it's, it's so good. Uh, that in verse 15, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. It is, it's God's will, it's God's desire, um, it's God's sovereign decree to have mercy and compassion upon those who he uh, wills and wants. So, yeah. yeah. yeah.